Hey everybody, today I want to show you how to make a big old batch of elk, cracked pepper and garlic summer sausage with Swiss cheese. I have a bunch of meat already ground, 15 pounds total, so it's 12 pounds of elk and three pounds pork shoulder. I ran it through the coarse grind yesterday, so now all I need to do is add my seasonings and cure. A little bit of seasoning, a little bit of cure, and ice water. Start mixing that up. Continue adding your seasoning, cure, and ice water. Now I'm gonna go ahead and send it through the fine grinding plate. One of the many fun parts about making your own sausage is you can put anything you want to into the mix. I can add peppers, cilantro. Today I'm going to add high temperature Swiss cheese. This cheese only melts at extremely high temperatures so you can smoke it or put it in burger patties and it'll hold its form. It won't melt all over the place. Today I'm going to use my vertical sausage stuffer. If you don't have a vertical sausage stuffer, you can use a stuffing horn with your grinder, or you can do what I did for about 10 years. You can stuff them by hand with a spoon. It takes forever, but how bad do you want delicious custom sausage? Spray my stuffing canister with non-stick cooking spray. Then we can go ahead and spoon in the summer sausage mixture. I recommend soaking the mahogany casings in warm water. It makes them a lot more pliable and easy to work with. Put the casing over your stuffing tube or stuffing horn. Hold the casing tight to the horn and start cranking. <laughs> oh, he's super excited. So that's what it looks like. That's a stick that's approximately three pounds. Cinch your hands around the top. Squeeze down so you can get any air bubbles out of the sausage. Give it a few twists until you feel the sausage get nice and tight. Get your hog ring and hog ring pliers. Go into the top as close to the sausage as you can. Squeeze it on there and voila. I needed one extra casing since I added the cheese and upped the total weight to a little over 17 pounds. Trim the excess casings off, make them look nice and pretty. And you could even see the even distribution of cheese throughout the casings. Now I'll put these in the garage refrigerator to cure overnight. Tomorrow, we'll smoke them up. Good morning. Time to put the summer sausages in the cook shack. And I'm going to be smoking with applewood today. And through the miracle of video, the summer sausage is done into an ice bath. It's been about 30 minutes, so I'm going to pull my summer sausages out of the ice bath. I put them in the ice bath because I want to stop the cooking and it, of course it helps the sausage to cool down and makes it easier to slice. You don't have to use an ice bath. It's just a personal preference. I've been doing it that way for a lot of years. B12 
beautiful disc of summer sausage and that delicious Swiss cheese. It tastes so good and I really think the applewood is the perfect complement to these flavors. 